Liberty caps are a species of mushrooms that contain psilocybin, a drug with powerful psychedelic effects. Liberty caps can be distinguished by their pointed, conical-shaped caps. They mainly grow in moist areas across warmer parts of the world. This video will provide a detailed look at these psychedelic mushrooms. Please understand that the information we provide here is only a starting point. If you don't have experience hunting for mushrooms, buy a detailed guide and be sure to go hunting with an experienced forager. See the description section below for some recommendations. Never consume any mushroom unless you're absolutely sure of its identity. Every year, people die after consuming poisonous mushrooms. And with some species, just one mushroom is enough to kill you. Also, in many areas, mushrooms containing psilocybin remain illegal and penalties for possession are severe. Possession of Liberty Cap mushrooms is illegal in most U.S. states and in the majority of Europe. However, in the U.S., they have been decriminalized in Michigan, Colorado, and California. Make sure that you are aware of the laws in your region before picking one of these mushrooms. Psilocybin mushrooms have been found on prehistoric murals and rock paintings. But the first recorded instance of Liberty Cap mushrooms was in London in 1799. A family had picked some mushrooms in a park for their food. After consuming the mushrooms, their pupils dilated and they went into a state of delirium. For a long time, mycologists did not understand why Liberty Caps have mind-altering effects when consumed. However, in 1960, mycologist Albert Hoffman established that the psilocybin components in the mushrooms were responsible. In the 1970s, Liberty Caps gained popularity as people started deliberately using them to experience their psychedelic effects, which include euphoria, changes in perception, visual and mental hallucinations, and even spiritual experiences. Today, some scientists believe that psilocybin and Liberty Caps may have therapeutic uses in mental health, especially for treating addiction and anxiety. The scientific name for Liberty Cap mushrooms is Psilocyba semilanceata. Semilanceata means half spearhead in Latin, and the caps do look vaguely like half of a spearhead. While Liberty Cap is the common colloquial name for Psilocyba semilanceata, these mushrooms are also sometimes called Phrygian caps. Liberty Caps grow throughout the world. However, they originally come from Northern Europe and the United Kingdom. In North America, Liberty Caps are common in the Pacific Northwest and on the Cascade Mountains' western side. They have been found on the East Coast too, in farmlands from Florida up to Canada's maritime provinces. You will most often find them in grasslands and old farms. They grow particularly well on horse manure and in lands enriched with artificial fertilizers. They rarely grow in forests or near trees. Liberty caps flourish in high humidity and will die when the temperature is too low. As a result, they mostly fruit during the early fall and die with the first freeze. Liberty cap mushrooms have bell-like, conical-shaped caps. The shape of the caps remains the same throughout the lifetime of the mushroom. The edges of the caps are rolled in for the younger Liberty caps, but they unroll to become straight as the mushroom ages. In some cases, the edges even roll upwards as the mushrooms mature. The caps are hygrophonous, which means that their color varies depending on the moisture levels in their surroundings. The caps are pale brown when their surroundings are moist. They become chestnut brown in drier environments with a darker brown at the center. If you pick the mushrooms and dry them, they become paler and take on an almost yellowish brownish color. When bruised, the bruised spots turn bluish green. Liberty caps have yellowish brownish slender stems. These mushrooms range between one and three quarters and five and a half inches in height. The stems tend to be thicker at the base. Again, never pick any mushroom if you're not sure of its identity. Follow our recommendations in the description section and buy a good mushroom field guide. And make sure you to run your finds by someone who has experience with wild mushrooms. Magic mushroom enthusiasts have reported that it is difficult to grow liberty caps. This is because they feed on putrescent grass roots, an environment that is difficult to create if you are growing them at home. Liberty caps contain psilocybin and biocystin psychoactive compounds. 
The psilocybin potency varies depending on the specific Liberty Cap mushroom with an average concentration of 1% per the dried mushroom's weight. They are average for magic mushrooms in layman's terms, neither very weak nor very strong. Liberty Caps can be consumed in various ways, including brewing in tea, chewing them raw, or incorporating them in other recipes. They have a bitter taste, and some people prefer to add some lemon juice to make them more palatable. Liberty Caps are considered one of the friendlier magic mushrooms, good for beginners. Users have reported feeling happy, empathetic, and social after they consume Liberty Caps. Generally, they cause mild hallucinations. On the other hand, some users reported experiencing adverse effects, such as stomach aches, painful limbs, and heaviness in arms and legs. When taken in large amounts, they may cause severe hallucinations and confusion. Some people report nausea and extreme anxiety after eating Liberty Caps. So, all in all, Liberty Caps can be dangerous, and the decision to consume them should not be taken lightly. If you do decide to try them, make sure that you're around someone who has experience with magic mushrooms and who can help you if you're hit with any bad effects. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more information about all kinds of mushrooms. Thanks for watching.